All right, this problem involves water flowing out a nozzle. Our goal is the absolute pressure, and we've got to be careful here because almost always we use gauge pressure, and we're looking for that at section one. There's our units, and the velocity at one is specified as five meters per second. The velocity at two is five times faster, 25 meters per second. Here's my system diagram. I labeled the velocities, labeled one and two, and I'm going to apply the Bernoulli equation from one to two. So to apply the Bernoulli equation from one to two, I write the general form of the equation and then do term by term analysis. The pressure at one is my goal. The elevation at one is zero, as is the elevation at two, because that's my datum. The pressure at two, which is the exit of the nozzle, is zero gauge. And the velocity at one is known, the velocity at two is known, and so I can see I have one equation, one unknown, very easy to solve. Here's my reduced equation. So I grid out my calculation as usual, carry and cancel units, which I always do, and the answer comes out to be 300 kPa gauge. Super important as an engineer to label gauge pressure or absolute pressure, because it makes a huge difference. And I'll assume atmospheric pressure is 100 kPa. I'll add it on. So the correct answer to this is 400 kPa um, absolute pressure. Thank you for listening. I hope you've enjoyed this video.